He was a rigger. He was my brother, and his name was Guy. He seldom shaved when he should have. <laughs> he always wore that dirty ball cap so he didn't have to comb his hair. Usually had a hairy face. <laughs> what you see is what you got. He was very much a people watcher. Do you remember what he looked like? Me. <laughs> the service rig he worked on collapsed and he fell to his death. Sorry to tell you, but your husband's not with us anymore. What? I'll never forget the sound of your mom's voice when I told her. He was a, you know, get it done kind of guy, right? He worked hard. He was someone that would have went out there to do it for the people that he loves, to ensure that they have something better than he had growing up himself, right? And I know a lot of guys like that, and he was one. He was one. He would do what it took to make sure his kids had better, like any one of us would. Decided it was about a... October of the year after Guy died that I decided I'd make a memorial for him out here. Someday, when you're trying to recall the story of that guy who fell to his death in a rig accident, remember his name. Or the one that he hated the most is uh, Guy Guy. Allison used to call him Guy Guy when she was young. And of course, well, it's his sister, so he's not going to say much, but as soon as I called him Guy Guy, it was fuck off. I called him Guy Smiley. That was, was his name. Oh, everybody called him O. Olet. He was my brother, and his name was Guy. When you lose a good friend, I mean, that leaves a hole in everybody's life. You know, that's a tough thing. Sometimes you got to realize life is just too short, and you got to make time for those people, because that time will be gone one day, and you won't have that chance again. Oh, sorry, Dad.